So now we're getting even closer, 35 meters, right in the middle of the screen. Everything is ready, and uh, up from now is going to be very smooth. So you see at the bottom of the screen, right below the center where the two lines intersect, there's a small target. It's like a round target uh, with a cross, round black target with a white cross, and that's what the crew uh, is looking at. So it's actually supposed to be uh, lower in the image because because the crew is using this as a as a visual cue for docking. So we can't quite see it now. It's just in it's just in shadow now, but just below the uh, the docking ring of the uh, of the space station of the Resolute. Uh, module to 25 meters away now mm -hmm. so actually the round one the small round one is for is for the tv image so that's what we're looking at and the the triangular shaped one which is a little bit below and to the right, left right okay is yes the one just, that the crew is using so we're looking yeah. at two at two different targets one is for the crew using the periscope uh, shifted by a few degrees from the camera views and the other one is for the camera views themselves so Important not to get confused for the crew and for the and for the mission control Houston as well. Mission control Moscow. Twenty meters now. Like going really slowly. Now we've switched the um, uh, radar antenna for the last time. That's just the message that appear in the upper right corner. This is very smooth. It has a, a lot of inertia, uh, so you have to anticipate quite a lot. It reminds me of flying big planes, more than very small and powerful planes. It's, it's more related to the inertia of flying huge airliners. Still going in. 13 meters now. By now they're going visual, and the uh, distance uh, they're they're looking at the display is more at the at the numbers because they're so close. And the speed is nominal, very small. You it's actually interesting because you need some speed for the docking mechanism to trigger, uh, but you don't want to have too much speed because, of course, uh, you don't want to impact the station. So there's a there's a very very narrow uh, margin on the relative speed that you can have for for docking, and it's uh, it's a very challenging manual process. So see the target is is a line in roll, pitch and yaw. You don't see any residual angle. Right in the middle of the screen. It's looking really good. I think that Maxim Surayev has the, the record for the most precise docking. Because actually, when they open the hatch, they look at the marks uh, of metal to metal contact and they kind of write their names on it. So that's a game they're playing. You've seen the jerk in the image. We have contact. Now the engines have pushed and we have capture, so it's a good document.